Joe and I started seeing each other, we wanted all of the same things. We wanted to live together, but we didn't want to get married because any time any one of our friends got married, it completely ruined their relationship. They practically never had sex anymore. And it's true, that is just one of those things that they never tell you. I would sit with my girlfriends, my girlfriends who have kids, like Alice, she has little girls. I would sit with her and she would complain that she and Gary practically never did it anymore. No, she wouldn't even complain. She would just state it matter-of-factly, like they had both been up all night long, they were both exhausted, and the kids had just sucked out every last sexual impulse they'd had in them. And Joe and I used to laugh and we'd say how lucky we were to have this wonderful relationship where we could just have sex on the kitchen floor if we wanted to, and not worry about kids coming in, or fly off to Rome on a moment's notice. And then one day I took Alice's little girl for the afternoon. I told her we'd go to the circus. And I had her in the cab. And we were playing that game. Um, I spy. I spy a mailbox. I spy a lamppost. And she looked through the window. And she saw a man and a woman and two little kids. And the man had one of the kids up on his shoulders. And she was watching them, and she said, I spy a family. <laughs> and I just started to cry. You know, I was just crying. And I went home, and I said, Joe, the thing is, we never do fly off to Rome on a moment's notice. kitchen floor? Not once. I mean, it's made out of cold, hard, ceramic tiles. Anyway, I went home and we talked about it for a long time. And I just had to say, this is what I want. And he said, well, I don't. And I said, I guess it's over. And he left. because that was all he had to give. For him, that was it. And I don't know, the more and the more that I think about it, I made the right choice.